The purpose of this video is to explain the basic operation of a magneto-resistive wheel speed sensor. Wheel speed sensors are very important for stability systems to operate. Typically, they are located on the hub assembly of a vehicle. They provide wheel speed to analog braking systems and traction control systems so the computer will know how fast the wheel is turning. The computer will also look for a wheel to suddenly stop and start using the ABS system. This sensor is a two-wire sensor. It runs along the brake hose and goes to a connector which it will use to communicate with the brake control module. There are two common types of sensors used for wheel speed, a passive or pickup coil type sensor and a magnet needle resistive type sensor. Although both have two wires and look similar on the outside, their operations are very different. Magnetic resistive sensors, also called active sensors, operate using a changing magnetic field. To monitor this field, the sensor contains two magnetic resistance elements, hence where the name magnetic resistive sensor comes from. Both sensors contain a rotor placed somewhere on the hub assembly. A pickup coil sensor uses a tone wheel to produce a signal. This is different from a magneto resistive wheel speed sensor, which uses a magnetic rotor that has multiple north and south poles. Pickup coil type wheel speed sensors operate under inductive current from a tone wheel passing by a coil of wire connected to a magnet. When a peak on the tone wheel moves past the magnet on the sensor, a magnetic field is induced into the coil wrapped around the yoke. This will generate an AC voltage and create a waveform. The faster a vehicle travels, the waveform amplitude increases. The sensor sends this signal to a computer which will be able to determine how fast the wheel is traveling. Unlike a pickup coil wheel speed sensor, this sensor contains two magneto-resistive elements which will detect a change in the magnetic fields as the magnetic rotor is spinning. These magnetic resistive elements are connected to an internal circuit responsible for amplifying the signal turning it into a digital waveform. In order for a magneto-resistive wheel speed sensor to operate, it must be supplied with voltage, unlike a passive wheel speed sensor, which generates AC current. Very voltage should be on one side of the connector with the key on engine off. The other side should have a good ground connection. The vehicle I will be demonstrating on is a 2011 Chevy Equinox. This is a way to check operation with only a DVOM. With the key on engine off, I connect the meter to the wheel speed sensor signal wire. As you can see, the meter reads 10.8 volts. As I slowly turn the rotor, the voltage starts switching with 10.8 and 11.2 volts. This is one advantage of this type of wheel speed sensor. Passive wheel speed sensors are not very accurate at lower speeds. They typically need to be rotating above 5 miles per hour to get a reading. DVM will only work for low speed operation. A scope is needed to see the sensor's digital waveform. These next three clips demonstrate what the waveform looks like at varying speeds. In this first clip, the vehicle will be only traveling about 3 miles an hour. The waveforms that the sensor produces are very spread out, as you will see by the picoscope data. As the vehicle speed keeps rising, the waveforms will get tighter and tighter together. In this clip, the vehicle is traveling about 10 miles an hour. As the vehicle speed continues to rise, the square waves produced by the sensor will continue to get smaller. In this clip, the vehicle is traveling around 30 miles per hour. In this clip, I have simulated a sensor with too much clearance. The voltage on the wheel speed sensor wire reads 11.6 volts. As I rotate the wheel, there is no change in voltage. Scope will show the same data. The reading should be around battery voltage, and a digital square wave should be shown. It is important to note that all the waves should have the same voltage ranges. If square waves are not uniform, then there is a problem with the sensor. When I took these readings, the battery on this vehicle is low, resulting in low voltage readings. When the car is running, you can expect voltage to be above 12 volts. Thank you for watching this video about magneto-resistive wheel speed sensors.